Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs>So uh, these are the uh, ninjas uh, that we are going to uh, showcase today and of course using uh, lightning main right so uh, let's uh, have a quick rundown on this formation uh, we have Ushimaru of course our uh, I think our main damager is this one uh, look at that bad boy uh, he can of course uh, deal a lot of damage and then uh, we also have his uh, knockdown, uh, repulse to knockdown chase, and then uh, standard attack. If he can kill, he will uh, attack again. He will have another uh, standard attack if he can kill either a uh, ninja or a, uh, a summon or a clone. So that's it. That is a very, very handy uh, uh, passive skill. And then long blade technique. Where, in fact, if he had an, a lot of uh, technique points, uh, the uh, his standard attack is going to have a much higher uh, repulse capability. All right, so that's good enough. And then his mystery also can immobile, which is very very nice, and then uh, can cause knockdown. So that's it. And let's go now to Jin Pachi. Or uh, Jin Pachi is our second uh, damager, and then he has a lot of uh, combo rate. As you can see, uh, his mystery can cause uh, ignition. We can use this one. Uh, <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, we can use this one uh, right at the back uh, on the first uh, round on each battle so that's very very good and then we have explosive blade strike causing ripples also that's good and then uh, his chase is uh, he, he can uh, trigger this twice in a, uh, in a round so this is a very very nice and also it can cause ignition so knock down to repulse ignition and can uh, trigger twice so that's very very nice guys and then uh, let's go now to the passive one which is uh, he can uh, give an extra standard attack standard attack on uh, at least two Edo Tensei so this is a random uh, random apply uh, he can apply this to the uh, random Edo Tensei on your lineup so in here we have three Edo Tensei so uh, if Kushimaru is if he is going to miss Kushimaru, of course we have Sasori, right? So let's get at that into that. Uh, let's get into that later. As you can see, he he can he can be a uh, tanker. Uh, defense increased by forty percent. Every technique point stack up, so he can uh, maximum of three uh, technique points. So that is uh, one twenty. Uh, percent uh, defense boost so this is a very very nice uh, ninja to uh, have this is a uh, vanguard type ninja as you can see and then uh, that's it okay so let's move now to our uh, Sasori which is our main support as you can see uh, he can uh, his mystery can remove at least one debuff uh, to up to uh, nine Edo Tensei ninja, so that's a very very nice on, and also he can uh, give an extra standard attack to each uh, Edo Tensei, but uh, cannot stack to any standard attack effects. Okay, if uh, Jin Pachi already gave Shimaru a, uh, a start a free uh, one extra standard attack. 
then the uh, the mystery of Sasor is going to be useless, right? So that's it. We are going to move now to his passive. So uh, his first passive, uh, if a uh, team is going to be defeated. Uh, his standard attack is going to attack opponent's front row and cause chaos. So this is a very, very nice uh, passive. And then his second passive, unbu uh, ambush, ambush, force, right? <laughs> <coughs> so up to 9 Edo Tensei have, uh, give, uh, will receive a uh, shield uh, generated based on 40% of this unit's base resistance. So based on, I think, Sasaurus resistance. So the effect also have their uh, attack and ninjutsu increase by 30%. So this is a very very nice uh, ninja. It can boost Edo Tensei ninjas, right? And then uh, the uh, third passive is the if this unit is going to be defeated, it will resurrect and then 30% uh, of original points. Furthermore, this a unit's prompt mystery skill will be activated once again so that's a good uh, passive also so uh, he is actually like a hidden or any ninjas that can uh, like Uruchimaru that uh, they can resurrect every two rounds so that's that and finally we're going to go to our lightning main of course this uh the mystery is going to be uh an option so you can use uh Chidori blade also but for me i uh, prefer using lightning sailing slash so uh the standard is going to be lightning assassination sword uh, ligiri this decapitation that's good and warrior skilling intent so that uh, another boost to our sword the ninjas and then root of warrior all right so Root of Warrior here is going to help our uh, Sword Ninjas to be immune for two rounds. For the first two rounds, so that's it. And then on the summon, if you don't have King of Hell, you can use uh, the Rhino. Or uh, the one that can chase Knockdown. It's because, so again, let's also have a quick rundown on their uh, ch chase. Right, so uh, let's go through their chases. Knockdown for Kushimaru, and then uh, chase by yeah Junpachi. Chase by Junpachi. Repulse again, and then repulse. Knockdown by Kushimaru. That's good. The knockdown repulse by Junpachi again. And then repulse knockdown to our uh, main character, and then of course our king of hell or a bull. As you can see, the last uh, chase is going to be knocked down, so that's it. So now, since I already explained to you guys how this formation works, and I figured it out, why not uh, just leave the uh, fights uncommented? Uh, so. That's what I'm going to do. And uh, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching guys. And I'll see ya in the next one. Bye bye. Intersect on each one I reflect These lines write my story These places change me Each one replacing Like night into morning I miss the open air The going anywhere Right